Sayyidina Sufyan Sawri Rahmatullah alayhi, he was about the age of 15 or 17. And at that age, he went to his mother and he said to his mother, give me permission, give me in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I might leave and I might go out there to seek religious knowledge. The mother looks at Sayyidina Sufyan Sawri Rahmatullah alayhi, and she says to him, son, you give something to the king which is valuable. A normal person, you might give him a normal gift. But when you go into the court of the king, what do you do? You give him something which is valuable or something precious. So the mother is saying to Sayyidina Sufyan Sawri Rahmatullah alayhi, that when you give something in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it, ha it has to have value. It has to have quality. It has to have uniqueness. What quality do you have in yourself that I give you in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Look at the mindset of the child and look at the mindset of the mother. Uniqueness. When Sayyidina Sufyan Sawri Rahmatullah alayhi, he heard this, he felt ashamed. He went into his room and he stayed there for approximately two years. Two years he stayed there worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day his mother walked into the room and she saw signs of worship on his face. She saw that there was signs of illumination on his face. The mother kissed him between his two eyes and said, Oh my son, I give you in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyidina Sufyan Sawri rahmatullah alayhi, he left his home in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He traveled for 10 years. It's difficult for us to travel for three days on a Madani Kafla of Dawah Islami. Sina Sufyan Sawri Rahmatullah lay approximately at the age of 17. He's left his home and he's left for 10 years. He's continued traveling in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.